Universal Soldier, the one you return, the return short moon review. Luke is somehow back to being a normal human being. It's nice to have a Hollywood science on your side. The Universal Soldier program is still running somehow with the government's you know aid somehow and Luke is helping them and desperate to keep the Unisol program running rather than you know having these people just you know buried getting families closure for some reason as always happens when you have a supercomputer in charge of anything that is at all dangerous the machine goes insane and start trying to take over and somehow makes the leap from being a general to thinking itself a deity which I don't 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 ask me this movie makes no sense the action is tedious and uninspired and there are bits of it just thrown in here and there when it makes absolutely no sense. At one point, a Universal Soldier sentry shoots just one person rather than anybody else when it could easily have shot several. And the body count is really high with no weight of this, you know, it's, it's really detached as a film in part visible also through the rape threat early on which is basically there so that the movie can give us a shot of cleavage which they were so happy with they put it in the trailer and on the back of the VHS cover the the budget of 24 million is not really seen here much at all the their bad stunt double uses the 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 whole thing feels really cheap the the locations are small and boring Fights are surprisingly poorly done with it being difficult to tell where people are in relation to each other and terrible continuity at times. And even with the movie continually having nothing really happen in the plot, the film still barely gets its way to 76 minutes, not counting the end credits, which at three minutes. And the, yeah, the, the film doesn't know what to do with a supercomputer in Michael Jai White's body when really most of the audience could give them a number of good suggestions. But instead, it's just kind of going around a little bit and trying to get Luke because it needs him, which is why it keeps trying to kill him, to ensure its future survival. Bill Goldberg, the wrestler, is not the only terrible actor in this and the teenage terrible deafening numbing metal and excessive swearing and one of the most unappealing aspects the horrible characterization of women as obnoxious and in the way at best you know completely useless and needing rescue you know at, at best so yeah the movie's surprisingly sentimental and just a complete waste of your time I've reviewed other parts of this franchise the links are in the description box if you like this review and one more detailed one the link is in the description box Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.